Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up audio to face and then export it to iClone. The first step is to export your character from Character Creator. Have your character selected, then under the file menu select, Export, USD Omniverse. Make sure audio to face is checked. Next, save your file. Next step is to open audio to face, which is available in the Omniverse launcher. I am using the latest version, which is 2023.1.1. The first tab has a Get Started button, but don't click that, just bring in your character. Drag your character into the stage panel and release. Change the Orient Z from negative 90 to 0. Now bring your character into view by clicking an empty area of the viewport and moving your mouse while holding down the right or middle mouse buttons. Use your mouse wheel to scroll in or out or hold the shift key while moving your mouse, right will zoom in, or left zooms out. Now select the Character Transfer tab. In the stage, expand your character, and underneath Character Root, a few levels down you should see CC underscore base body, and select CC underscore base body, mesh. Back on the Character Transfer tab, find the Skin option, and click the plus sign. You should see a checkbox appear. Go back to the stage panel and select CC underscore teeth underscore lower and select CC underscore teeth underscore lower mesh. Click the plus sign to assign the gum and teeth. You should see another check mark appear. Repeat the same action for the tongue, select the tongue mesh and select the plus sign for tongue on the character transfer tab. We are going to skip the eyes and expand additional meshes. Back in the stage, select the CC underscore teeth underscore upper mesh and click the plus sign. Now we are ready to click the setup character button. A box will appear, confirm the up and forward axes are correct, which they should be, and click yes. This next step is very important, you must do this part exactly like this, or your character's mouth may not move. On the Character Transfer tab, select the preset option of Reillusion CC4. Next, type Control plus Z to undo. Now, uncheck the box for correspondence visibility to get rid of the dots. Click Begin Mesh Fitting. Your character will look messed up, so click the Begin Post Wrap button, and your character should return to normal. Now click Jaw Motion Prep. Click Tongue Mesh Fitting. You will notice your tongue appears outside the face, so click Tongue Mesh Post Wrap, and your tongue should return. We are now ready for the final step, which is to create an A2F pipeline, select the audio file, and export the weights file in JSON format. Select the right character, Jin, and click the A2F Pipeline button. Click the Yes Attach button to complete the setup process. At this point, if you click play, you should hear the default audio play, and both Mark and your character's mouth should move. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen. Browse to the folder containing your audio files. It is important to note, your files must be in WAV format. After you select the folder, select the file you wish to export. Click Play to preview your file. Once upon a time, there was a man named John who decided to take a trip down memory lane and visit his old neighborhood. Click on the tab A2F Data Conversion. Select the Output folder. Enter a file name if you do not wish to use the default name. In the Blend Shape Conversion section, select World. Transfer Character, CC Base Body, Result. In the Blend Shape Mesh, select the original character you brought in. Click the Setup Blend Shape Solve button. Next, select the newly created Blend Shape Solver and click Export Weights. This part takes a little while, so I will pause the video. Now that this has finished, it is almost time to apply the weights file in iClone, but first we must install a plugin. Now it is time to install the iClone Audio to Face plugin. 
Open Google and search for iClone Audio to Face plugin. It should be the first result. Click on it, and this will open to the download page. Click Download, and then on the page that comes up, in the middle of the page there should be a download button. Click the download button, and save the zip file to anywhere you choose. Extract the contents of the zip file. Then copy the folder Omniverse Audio to Face iClone 8. In File Explorer, browse to C. Program Files, Reillusion, iClone 8, bin 64, open plugin, and paste in the folder on your clipboard. You will probably need to restart iClone if it is already open. In Character Creator, I have my character selected I created from a headshot photo. This next part is optional, but before I send my character to iClone, I like to apply an idle motion. In the Content Vertical tab, Expand Animation, Motion Plus, Animated, Acting, Male, select Idle 01 underscore Male, and drag this motion onto your character. Now I will export him to iClone. The first thing I like to do, is under the content menu, select Stage, Default, Default CC4. This will make your character look the same as it does in Character Creator. Next, I want to change the duration of the project. Under the Edit menu, select Project Settings, and I will set 3479 frames. At 60 frames per second, this is just under a minute. Under the Render menu option, select Render, Video. Here I will change the frames per second to 60. I also want to change the display size to 1920 by 1080. And finally, down at the bottom under Output Range, I will change the end frame to 3479. Next, I am going to create a camera. Under the Create menu, select Camera, Linear Camera. Now I will select my character, and on the Modify Vertical tab, select Look at, Camera. One important thing to note, do not copy the motion for your character, until after you have set up audio to face. I think it is a bug, but I had my character's mouth not move a few times. Now we are ready to import the weights file. Under the plugins menu, select Omniverse Audio to face, import Omniverse Audio to face. Next, click the first load button and browse for the weights JSON file we created earlier. This takes about 10 seconds to load for a one minute audio file. Once the weights file has loaded, click the load button for audio file and browse for the WAV file that was used to generate the weights file and audio to face. Now click the apply button. This also takes about 10 seconds. One way I can tell when the audio has finished loading is I move the plugin panel over, and when finished, iClone updates the UI with the new location. We are now ready to preview the result. Once upon a time, there was a man named John who decided to take a trip down memory lane and visit his old neighborhood. As he walked along the familiar streets, he couldn't help but feel a sense of nostalgia. However, as he passed by an abandoned house on his block, he realized that things hadn't changed much over the past 30 years. As a child, John used to ride his bike past the house as quickly as possible, never daring to peek inside. Since the video is played past the end of the motion, it should be okay to copy the motion now. Select the motion track in the timeline, right-click, and select Copy. Still on the motion track, select an area a little to the right of the end of the motion track and right-click again. This time, select Paste. Now I will advance to frame 3000, and paste one more time. Now I will play the rest of the story. First, I will go back to frame 1500. Never daring to peek inside. But now, as a grown man, 
he felt brave enough to take a closer look. What he saw next, however, would change his life forever. Standing in the window of the abandoned house was a figure dressed in clothing from a long-forgotten era, perhaps from over a hundred years ago. Despite the strange sight, John tried to approach the house for a closer inspection. That's when he noticed that the figure didn't seem to have a body. Shocked and frightened, he turned to run away. I hope you enjoyed this audio to face tutorial. I will finish the rest of the story and make a video as soon as I can. I want to thank Hugging Face Falcon B for providing a demo that wrote this scary story for me. I also want to thank Markham 3D for creating the audio to face tutorial that I followed. Audio to face has upgraded since his video was made, is why I made this video. Let me know if this helped anyone. I also want to thank NVIDIA as they give us audio to face and the rest of the Omniverse apps, all for free. This video and the scary story video were narrated by my open source project Simon. Simon uses Microsoft Cognitive Services speech service, and I think it is the best text to speech I have found. Simon comes with 72 voices, all for free. Microsoft gives you 500,000 characters per month, free. I will put the link to Simon in the video description. The setup does require you to create a Microsoft Azure account and is a little more complicated than I wish. I am considering building a website to allow anyone to use Simon and purchase characters at a pretty affordable rate. Let me know if this is something that interests you. Thanks for watching and please like this video and subscribe if you have not done so already.